From highways to bridges, we are used to some big projects around the capital area, but tonight we are talking about a tunnel hidden beneath the streets of downtown Baton Rouge. It is not new. In fact, it, date back, it dates back a century, and it won't help you avoid the traffic. News 2's Fallon Brown shows us why this historic hallway is being brought back to life. Through the hidden entrance and down the steps of the historic Hilton Hotel awaits an experience straight out of the 1920s. Everyone kept saying this would be a great speakeasy, this would be a great speakeasy. Opening soon, the tunnel is a one-of-a-kind speakeasy, exclusive to guests willing to endure a mini scavenger hunt for entry. And you can't get in without one of these. A key you'll find hidden somewhere in the hotel using clues from Instagram. Another clue will be written on this tag. So they are going to need a special key to enter and they're going to have instructions with that key on where to, where to enter from and they will need to have that key to continue the experience. It's a mystery with a lot of history behind it. The Hilton Hotel, once called the Heidelberg, was a place Huey P. Long called home. And the dark tunnel connecting it to the former King Hotel, which is now the Indigo, was a pathway often taken by high-profile guests, including the former governor. He spent an amazing amount of time when you do the research at this hotel. A lot of business was conducted, so that hotel was kind of a, a quick getaway. Now the tunnel holds even more to be discovered. And I don't want to give out all of the secrets, but there's little clues hidden around this tunnel that might help somebody with a future task. But you can only find out when it's open or activated by signing up for their newsletter. Otherwise, you pretty much have to stalk our Instagram page to find out when it's activated. And the day of an activation is when you get your first clue. What a neat story for now. The tunnel will only be open sporadically. You can find a link with more information on our website, WBRZ.com.